How do you know if you've done a good job in your audition? Mm, let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode of the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. I am Christine Horn, also known as The Booking Magnet, and today we are going to get into it talking all things auditions. To all my replay watchers and listeners, what's up replay watchers? Love you guys. So, you know, we have auditions all the time. Some are, many are self-tape auditions, meaning we do them at home or at a studio. Or, you know, for if you're doing commercials, maybe you're going in person. Of course, if you're, if you're new here, most of the things I talk about are dealing with on-camera auditions, especially film and TV auditions. So that's just where we're going to stay in that vibe. But I often I get asked by my clients and people I work with, you know, Christine, how do I know if I did a good job in an audition? I, I don't get feedback, right? We send our tapes off, we upload them into the ether, and we don't know if we're doing a good job or not, especially if we haven't booked the job or even got pinned or put on a veil. And listen, I know how frustrating that can be because don't forget, I might be here on, on YouTube and on the podcast, but I'm also an actor. I'm an artist first. So trust me, I understand, you know, I understand the slow moments. I understand Okay, you're getting auditions maybe, but you're not even getting callbacks or any feedback. I get it. I'm, I'm in that space right now. It's been a little bit of quiet time for me, which has been great for my personal life because I'm taking care of other things. But, you know, I find that I have to create my own standard of excellence and create my own system to tell when I've done a good job in my audition. And I want to share some of those things with you in no particular order. Okay. Okay. Um, first of all, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube and turn on that bell to get notified of new episodes. And if you're listening on the audio podcast only, please consider leaving a review. I would appreciate it so much. Now, again, the first thing I always like to ask myself is how do I feel? How did it feel? I'm sure if you have ever shared that you've had an audition with a family member or friend or coworker, because they're not in the industry, they don't know how it works. The first thing they do is say, well, how did it go? Right? How did you feel about it? How did it go? They don't say, how did it feel? They say, how did it go? When are you going to know? Did you book it or not? And you're like, I don't know that no news is bad news. You try to give them the usual spiel, but something I've done for many years is just ask myself, how did it feel? And that's how I respond to people. So if you ever found yourself wondering how to even respond to someone else, when they ask you, how did it go? Don't get frustrated with them because they're not in the business. They don't know what to ask. They're trying to encourage you. They're trying to be supportive, but say it felt good. I felt confident. I felt relaxed. I felt at ease. I felt really connected to the role. And that's something I really want you to ask yourself right now uh, and moving forward in your next audition. Maybe you make yourself your own little checklist after you finish taping. You can check. How did I feel? And I know so many classes are always teaching us about techniques, but not enough, I think, are teaching us about to tap in, to ask ourselves what we're feeling on the inside. So did you feel confident? Did you feel nervous? Did you feel at ease? Did you feel like this was a breeze? You felt super, um, you felt like the role pop off, popped off the page. That happened to me recently. I read for something that I didn't book, by the way. Uh, a few weeks ago. And I remember I, I got that script and I, that was one of those scripts I couldn't wait to record. Like I was like, Oh, this is me. Like I never did this profession that this, this character did, but I just felt like the nuances of this character, the essence of the character had uh, things that were similar to my personal essence. It felt like this was just going to be effortless and easy. And I want to say this to you, let it be easy. Let it be easy. Sometimes I coach people and they say, Christine, I feel like I might be doing something wrong because this feels too easy. And I'm saying, let it be easy. So if a role pops off the page for you and it doesn't take you three hours or two days to prep, let it be easy, record it. And that's something you can know for yourself, man, for this role, it felt easy. There was flow, right? So that's something else you can ask yourself. Something else that I ask myself is, 
Did I procrastinate around this at all? Because sometimes when I'm not excited to do a role and I'm just getting it done, I have to ask myself, why am I procrastinating? I got this role two days ago and I was due in three hours. Christine, why? And are you going to decline it or are you going to give it your all? Because what I don't do is submit anything that I'm not proud of. And so if you're doing, if you, I'm going to get on you real quick. If you're submitting auditions and you're like, I'm going to just get it done. And I know somebody watching has said that. If you're like, let me just get it done. I, don't know. I want to challenge you. Maybe that's not the audition for you. Maybe that's not the role for you. Maybe you do need to decline because if I'm going to put my name on it, when you get a tape from Christine Horn, you're going to get something that is excellent, something that is worthy of watching. And so if you're submitting an audition, and you're like, well, I don't think it was really good just because you weren't in the mood for it. Well, that's something you need to check in with yourself about. Okay. Something else I ask myself with, if, if, how do I know if I did a good job for me is, and again, this is not about the external. Of course, if our agent or manager calls us and said, Hey, Christine, great job with that audition. Of course. Right. Of course, if we book it, of course I did a great job. Right. So I'm not talking about the obvious. This is all about you somewhere, some other way you can know you felt good. Did you feel relaxed while you were doing it? Did you feel connected to the characters? Now, again, we're doing self tapes in our studio, right? Or at home, right? Or, or with a friend or with a family member, with some random stranger on uh, and a website like We Audition. <laughs> and if you want to visit We Audition, by the way, I use weaudition.com all the time. And you can get um, a discount off your membership by using our membership code um, HBA25 to get 25% off your uh, membership, by the way, sidebar. But, you know, I'll ask myself, did I feel like I saw everything? Like if my scene is in an office, whatever the location is, was everything clear? When I watched my playback, was everything clear about the environment? Yes. Okay. I feel good about that. Was everything clear about my connection and my relationship to the character or characters in the scene? Yes. Awesome. Um, did I have a nice juicy, uh, end beat? Yes. Okay, great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's that last beat of the scene, right? And I'm not talking about adding extra lines to a button. I'm talking about where you connected in the end beat. And again, I talk more about this and teach more about this in Book More TV, my signature course to help actors book more TV. You can learn about that by clicking the link below. But do I have that? Is that juicy? Is that clear? Did I have a strong moment before? Is that clear? When I look back at my tape and if I'm excited about it, like if I can look at my tape and don't want to stop watching it once I upload it and I make sure it works and everything, there are times there are some roles where, man, I can't stop watching that. I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of yourself after you hit upload? Because here's the deal in that moment when we have that audition, I've heard many casting directors say this and I, I adapt, I adopt this for myself in that moment, the job is yours. You may never play that role ever again, but in that moment, the job is yours. And did you do a good job? The beauty of auditioning is, first of all, that's the work that's being an actor. We audition. That is our work. Did we do a good job? Did we get to, we got, did we fully embody the character? Every role I audition for, whether I book it or not, I know is making me a better actor. Every time I coach a student, I know it's making me a better coach, a better director. So I want to uh, just make sure you embrace auditioning in a way that feels fun. Bring the fun back if you've lost it. I know it can be tough and frustrating not getting callbacks, pins, bookings, and it's audition, audition, audition. And some of you listening or watching may be saying, well, Christine, well, hell, I'm not even getting auditions. Well, it, it's coming. It won't come if you quit. So if you're going to stay in the game, watch your energy and understand that that energy seeps into your tape. Sometimes I have caught myself like, okay, let me, let me go ahead and take just cause it's this time. And I'll say, nope, my energy is not right. My energy is not right. I need to do this later. Cause it's going to, the camera is a lie detector and the eyes tell no lies. So I hope that helped you today. I know this is a short one, but remember the, is it good or did I do good or bad is internal that I want you to feel confident first because you can hire a coach and help you with your audition. And the coach can say, oh, great job and give you these tweaks. But if you're like, I have no idea what I did. I don't know how to duplicate that. My coach said it was good, but I didn't see it. 
that doesn't serve you in the long run of your career. Your coach is not going to always be there as your security blanket. So it's important that you start to figure out what those levels of good and bad are. And some, you got to be honest with yourself. Oh, I could do better. Well, if you think you can do better, then do better. Better your best. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm Christine Horn. I'm the booking magnet. If you need any help with anything with your acting career, when it comes to booking more TV and film, make sure you check out my links below and I will be honored to be your coach until next time. Continue to shine bright like the star that you are. Peace.